Hey there, welcome to another edit video faster tutorial. My name is Josh Short and I'm going to be showing you how to export a PSD sequence in Adobe After Effects. Uh, before we get started, uh, you notice uh, I'm, I'm in the video now, uh, here or here, I'm not, I'm not sure yet. Um, let me know what you think if you, if you like seeing me. I'm going to try it out for a video or two. My buddy Angelo recommended it uh, to try that out. Um, so let me know what you think in the comments. All right, so uh, on with the tutorial. We already have After Effects open, and I have a PS. Um, I have a comp open uh, with uh, this solid and text element in there that comes on and off the screen. And I want to export a PSD sequence with an alpha, so I can bring it into, let's say, Media Composer um, for uh, whatever I want to use it for there. Um, if I'm on a Mac, I want to hold Command, Control, and M, and that'll send the comp to the render queue. Uh, if you are on a PC, I don't know the shortcut off the top of my head, but if you go up to Composition, you'll find Add to Render Queue. All right, so in here, we want to go down to where it says Output Module. Go ahead and click it, and under Format, click the dropdown, and select Photoshop Sequence. And very important, you have to remember to go uh, under Channels and select RGB plus Alpha. If you don't, uh, you're just going to have a black background behind uh, whatever graphic you have. Click OK. And then here, the under Output 2, go ahead and click it. And when we export a PSD sequence, it's automatically going to create it into a sub Folder. So uh, pretty much what we're doing is uh, for every frame of video, it's uh, this one is three seconds uh, times 30, so it's 90 frames. Um, it's going to create a PSD file for each frame. Uh, so that's what we're doing here. So uh, down here at the bottom, uh, if you uncheck this, it'll just create it into whatever folder you select it to. Don't know if that made sense. Uh, but I want to create a folder, and let's name it... Uh, you know, something, and then we want to rename, or you can rename if you want the file. And it's very important, keep this underscore, keep uh, this bracket and all these uh, number signs, and this other bracket dot PSD. Remember, keep all that in there. Click Save, and when we hit Render, uh, we see that folder we just created. And there is our PSD sequence. It's not going to look like much until we get down a few frames. And then we can take that uh, whole thing and import it into uh, Media Composer or Final Cut or Premiere. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, make sure to head on over to my site, Edit Video Faster. Uh, you can read more and see more by me there. And make sure to su subscribe to this channel and uh, let me know what you think of me in the video. Um, all right, I'll see you next time.